guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 10 of Star Twinkle Pretty Here. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. The library? No, not the library. No. Oh, well, it's closed. Well. <laughs> yeah, at least sort first, and then... This is across. Oh. Mm. Didn't know that. <laughs> See, I don't remember from the preview what this episode's supposed to be about. I mean, we'll find out. <laughs> Did, we're still getting stuff for this? When did the movie come out? Like a couple of weeks ago? I mean, Jesus, this is episode... What? what hold on. Okay. They just see mom and dad and just... Mm, yes. <laughs> but dang, are you serious? Like, it's... Like, literally, if we go back to Hagato or even all of mode, like... I think two or three weeks after the movie came out, they didn't do any more promos. The opening, <laughs> but it's like episode ten, and they still doing it. It must be that popular. It must be like their just top newest film that I've, all the little kids love that I want to watch. <laughs> Oh, uh, okay, we're going to another planet. Oh no. You can't always want to go. Oh. But, uh, Hikaru, like, come on. You just went in space last week. Well, it is pink. Can't go on space travels. I mean, okay, hold on. Is there a way to make the ship, like, invisible while it's launching? But then, like, technically, <laughs> you would see the smoke from the rocket. Ah, <laughs> uh, she caught it. Aliens. Jeez. 
she's too excited, but that's okay. What's up? Okay. Do you have a compass with you to, like, at least show you the way? my child and who knows how long they'll be gone this time it could be more than a day like a week every single time when I see their place you know okay you know when the freaking in like what was it season three of the moon the the um the dark circus or something it's like that yeah that's what I'm still getting with this So that he just power them up or just hurt them? No, hurt them. Okay, no power. Okay. Okay, where are you now? I see donuts. Kind of. Hmm? Oh, it looks like the star flakes from Sailor Moon! Ah! But where? Mm. Well, you shouldn't assume. Do you, uh, I'm guessing. Oh, poor Fua. Looking for the pen. Quick question. The other arm, like, are those arms or just, mm, probably not. Okay. What if you guys crawl? Oh. <laughs> it's so adorable. Yeah, it's a lot of work. Look at 
koala. <laughs> Water bear? Okay, so they do have several arms. I'm thinking like, okay. It's a little weird how, and now it's summer? Well, I mean, that's kind of like Florida, because we go through the weathers in like, like that, like in a whole week. Because uh, it was rainy yesterday, and now today it's sunny, and then tomorrow it might be like windy or cold. <laughs> Anything? And then what they're going to be doing, running? No, just taking their time. Jules? You're telling me the star color pen? Oh, gems. I'm still the same thing. There's somewhere in these gems. I didn't think they were gonna get here until like what fifteen minutes in, but no. <laughs> uh, we're not doing it. Mm -hmm. Well, there's three of them, and there's four of you. So it could be three. Two can take. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It could be okay. What? Two of them can take two, and then maybe one of them take the other, and then one y'all look for the pin. Maybe I don't know. My baby, so precious. I swear to God, honestly, I really wish the movie was out on the internet now because then we could just watch it. I literally want to watch it. I don't know if I'll be able to do a reaction when it comes out. I mean, if you want it, I'm thinking about doing it myself even without your, like, acknowledgement. But, because I, I, I want to see it. It's mom and dad's last film. Who knows if I'll be watch if I'll be continuing the Pretty Care series after this. Like, uh. Yeah, but it's like a needle in a haystack. Hmm. 
I mean, it's not going to be co- coming out and say like, hey, you know, like, here I am. <laughs> it's too easy. Yeah, they're a little OP now. God. Did you see the fact that he just like kicked her? They're just running in it. Of course, someone like you, Kappa, really would give an ish, but like, th- you gotta think about the people who live on there. But that's not fair. She found it. Who knows which one that is? Well, yeah, because they are, like, overpowerful, like, as hell. Well, um, hold up. <laughs> no! Hold the F up. Are you serious? That's never happened in a pretty good series where during a attack, it get cut off. How many minutes do we have left? We got like five minutes left. And this might end really badly. I mean, usually by episode 10, like, sometimes. So they have to. Please tell me they're not, it's not going to be like the fact that Fuwa and what's his face are going to have to rescue them. Huh? Oh. Oh. Baby, so precious. Oh my God. Oh. Hmm? Lala. No, don't hurt her. What the heck is coming? Oh, shit. 
And let me guys, I'm going to drop the pin, right? But what about the pins? He kind of has no pin. Not in a day. It's going to be okay. You'll get the pin back. Monica's dad. And let me guess, he's going to run over there, isn't he? Ugh. Well, you know, I got to say, number one, that is, it, it is a cliffhanger. I will kind of say that. It is sad that they lost this week, but typically by like episode 10, 11, they usually do lose. But I was not really expecting them to take not only one, but two, two pins. And of course, it has to be one of your stars. Like, uh, out of all four, it was hers. And who knows, this other one, this newer one that they were going to get, could have been hers as well. But we ain't going to know until next Sunday. But I really do feel bad for her because she's going to blame herself for it, honestly, for wanting to go see... <clears throat> the Southern Cross and being taken to a different planet and then eventually having the bad guys come kicking their butts and taking something that was rightfully theirs. And it's sad. It's super sad. I and you could tell on her face before it um <clears throat> dimmed to black to go back onto Earth that she was just horrified, depressed and it's gonna continue into episode 11. I don't like the fact that they're going to do it this way. I mean, it kind of reminds me a little bit of Kitty Get a Pretty Girl on the Moon. Um, but it's a little messed up. I was not expecting that. And it just tells you, just like with any other Pretty Girl series, there's going to be a day where they're going to win, and then there's going to be a day where they lose. It makes me wonder, because I have seen, um, what did I see? I think it was about, like, three or four weeks ago. I saw on somebody's Twitter page, who also does, like, things like, not spoilers for, well, it's kind of spoilers, but I don't think they really do it for every particular series. I think they're currently doing it for this series. Um, I did see the wand. The wand is very, very pretty. It just makes me want to see how it's going to look animated. And I feel like they're not going to maybe get the one until, mm, let's say, I'm going to say the final cure. She comes by episode 22, 25, maybe. So probably by episode 20, they'll have all the Zodiacs and the star color, the star color pins all together. And then they'll be able to have their new wines and stuff because eventually that's what it's going to have to evolve to. Because after that, they're not going to be able to use the star color pins anymore. I don't know. But I just oh god, she's got. They're gonna get it back. They're gonna get her her old pin and her new pin back because we're now going into the start where everybody's starting to get second pins. Just how with freaking um Gold Princess they had like what three dresses and eventually they got four. 
or in total they had like five dresses. I believe, I don't know, I would have to sit there and rewatch Gold Princess Pretty Fur, which I'm kind of in the mood to sit and rewatch. But, yeah, I really don't know. I mean, in the favor for them to lose this week, I think it was, I think, if I go back to last week, I was kind of thinking about it. And I was like, no, 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 I don't think they're going to have them lose in episode 10. But to see them, like, lost and for Hikaru to be way overconfident in this episode about, okay, we just got to get this pin and then we can just go home. We can get the, take a picture or draw a picture of the Southern Cross for the guy who um, works at the library <clears throat> and stuff. But she went way over her head. And I'm not saying it is her fault that she lost her pin, but it, in a way, yes, it is. If she wasn't careless and had Kappa, like, literally grab the pin as she was doing the attack and, like, take it out of her hands, but because of the fact is that they all got hurt really bad and they detransformed, there's nothing else that they could do. They didn't have any more energy to transform back into the pretty heroes and kick some butt because those three are OP as freak in this episode. But probably when we get to next week, they'll be, you know, lowered. <laughs> like, they're not going to be like, their, their attack power is not going to be high as hell. It's going to just be low as heck. And they'll be fine. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 10 of Star Trek Pretty Hair. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the National Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially next Sunday for episode 11. Bye, guys.